One thing I really liked was your offloading when you're talking about offloading, because mm. I think we all we, we all feel like we can't squeeze anything more in. How can we get, get some of this stuff out? Yeah. Out yeah. When you're saying that, Deborah, I, I feel like we all feel like our brains are full, you know, no, yeah. like there's no, no vacancy. Um, yeah. yeah. And so part of that, part of that feeling, that distressing feeling of like, oh, I just, my brain is going to, my head's going to explode, you know, is that we, we try to do too much in our heads. Um, and the, the fact is the, the, the research uh, shows that it's often much more effective and efficient to offload, uh, cognitively offload, to move the contents of our heads out onto physical space, whether that means um, a whiteboard or a bunch of post-it notes that we're moving around or that, or, or even like a, a multi-monitor setup so that you're not just looking at a little screen, but you've actually, um, you're actually, you have enough space if, you know, if you're fortunate enough to have like a really big monitor to kind of lay it all out. And, and then, then all these other things become possible, like using your, um, using embodied resources like your spatial memory like oh i remember i put this over here and i'm going to move this over here all of which is you know is not possible when we're trying to do it all up here and so i think that's also something we can really teach students that when they're struggling to understand something or to say structure a paper or something it can be really helpful to get that out of your head and onto space and then treat ideas and information as if they're physical objects that we can manipulate and move around or like a, a three-dimensional landscape that we can kind of navigate through and use those embodied resources to to aid our cognition and not expect it you know to all, all happen up here 